Hello, my name is Karen Whelan and I am the Arts Participation Support Manager. During this presentation, I am going to go through the guidelines for the Arts Participation Bursary Award and hopefully it'll answer any questions you may have. If it's a case that your question is not answered, please contact a member of the Arts Participation Team. Arts Participation Participation is where professional artists collaborate with individuals or groups who are non-arts professionals to make or interpret art. It's a mutually beneficial two-way engagement that values different ideas, experience and skills of all involved. It has a focus on communities of place and or interest, including context areas such as health, disability, cultural diversity and older people. About the Bursary Award. Primary focus of the Arts Participation Bursary Award is on the artist and the exploration and development of the applicant's own individual artistic practice. The applicant may work in any art form in the area of participatory, collaborative and community-based arts. The award provides artists with the time and resources to think, research, reflect and engage deeply with their practice. Objectives of the award. The objective of the award is for the artist to spend focused time working at their practice, including critical reflection and evaluation, spend time researching, thinking, developing a new idea for future dissemination, spend time developing their technical skills in a particular area, developing learning new skills related to their practice or area of interest, and spend time developing an idea in collaboration with a potential partner or to undertake a short period of training by way of master classes or other professional training and opportunities. The applicants may want to do either one or a number of these activities. So applicants must have a track record of working collaboratively with non-arts professionals. They must work in one of the arts participation context areas they must demonstrate a clear artistic vision and commitment to artistic outcomes in their work. And they must ensure quality of engagement in their work, for example, in the planning, development and evaluation of their work. What you may apply for. Applicants can apply for a maximum of €20,000 or a minimum of €5,000. Access costs can also be in addition to this and where relative to your application. What is an access cost? An access cost is a cost for artists or participants with disabilities to cover any requirements you, you may have in order to remove barriers that might stop you from completing your proposal. What you may not apply for. You may not apply for activities or costs that do not fit the purpose of the award or better suited to another award funded by the Arts Council, including those managed externally by Arts and Disability Ireland and CREATE, those that are operated by other state agencies as such as Culture Ireland or have already been completed or have already started. You may not apply for activities undertaken for charity fundraising purposes, for competition or primarily for profit making purposes. Activities that have already been assessed by the Arts Council, including schemes managed externally on behalf of the Arts Council, including the Arts and Disability Connect scheme and also the Arts in the Community scheme. Who can apply? Those that can apply are professional practicing artists and have a track record in the area of participatory and collaborative arts practice and are resident in the Republic of Ireland. Who cannot apply? Individuals currently in undergraduate education, individuals seeking support for fees for higher education or study, work undertaking as part of formal course of study and costs of undertaking an internship. Those that cannot apply are Applicants that would be employed or contracted on a full time basis by an arts organisation funded through the Arts Council or through direct state subsidy by a commercial arts entity. Aced on members in receipt of a canoe also cannot apply. 
The award is not open to applicants that are not professional artists proposing to develop their individual artistic practice. Applicants whose practice may involve the arts or creativity, but have a primary focus on therapeutic or clinical outcomes. Applicants whose proposal involves a focus on young people only. Who is the applicant? The applicant is the person who will receive any funding offered. Any funding offered will be paid directly into a bank account held in the name of the applicant and all documentation provided must be in the name of the applicant. So if your name is Maura Debarra, then all documentation must be submitted in the name of Maura Debarra. Supporting materials. There are a number of mandatory supporting materials that need to be submitted with your application. These include a detailed up-to-date CV, maximum of three pages, five examples of your artistic practice, statements or letters of support from key partners, documents outlining ac access costs where relevant, where your proposal relies on the expertise of other people or organisations, you should submit brief biographies outlining their expertise, accreditation and track record. Additional required information. If your proposal means that you will be working involved with animals, children, young people and vulnerable adults, additional requirements are need to be met. Information on these are in the guidelines, so please make sure you read through the guidelines. Also, if your proposal is successful, additional information will be required in these areas. Eligibility. Your application will be deemed ineligible if you miss the application deadline. You do not submit a completed application form through online services. You fail to complete all of the sections in the application form relevant to your proposal. Reasons are set out in sections 1.2 to 1.4 of the guidelines. You apply for an amount of funding greater than the maximum amount allowed, or you apply for an amount of funding less than the minimum amount allowed. Your, uh, your application will be deemed ineligible if you apply for an activity or purpose that you cannot apply for or set out in section 1.6 of the guidelines. You fail to provide all mandatory supporting materials as set out in section 1.7 of the guidelines. Or your application is better suited to another funding programme offered by the Arts Council or by another funding agency, which, all of which we have covered in the previous slides. Making an application. You will need to have an Arts Council online services account to apply for uh, a bursary award. If you don't already have an online services account, please register for one. It takes up to five days for registration and this can be take longer if, if it's really busy. If you already have an account but don't remember your ARN and password, please contact a member of the Arts Participation Team and we will help you identify that number. Please don't register twice as this means you will have two accounts on the system and can cause issues later on. If you are registering for the first time, please ensure to check your spam and junk folder because emails may not go directly to your inbox. <clears throat> So preparing your documents and writing your application. Download your application form and save it to your desktop. You might prefer to work in Word and then copy the information across into the application form or work directly within the application form. Either way, please make sure you type or copy your text into the gray box. Otherwise, if you, if you Right outside the grey box, this can corrupt your application once it's uploaded and it needs additional tech support in order for it to be read. Make sure you tick all the appropriate boxes on the form. This gives us some information to help us develop our schemes and ensure we are reaching all, all, the, all our audiences. Answer each question clearly, adhere to word count, back it up. If you say something in your application form, back it up with a support document. For example, if you have a mentor confirmed, update their CV, or upload their CV and also provide a letter from that mentor. 
Save your application until you are ready to submit. Once submitted, you cannot add any more documents or update the information. It means that you will have to start the whole process again. So save your application as draft until you are ready so, to submit. Ensure you have all the must submit documents and also the additional documents that may be required. Have them saved in one place so they are easily accessible to you to upload. And um, once you are happy with everything, all your information is up to date and all your documents are there, then, then press submit. So here are some don'ts. Don't delay registering, registering for an online account. Don't leave it to the last day to upload your documents. Traffic is very heavy on the system and this takes longer. Also, if you have any issues, we may not be able to help you. Don't just glance at the award guidelines. Read through them thoroughly. Don't say information provided on request because we won't request it. And this could be an important document that could support more evidence for, for what it is you want to, do, to undertake. Don't exceed the word count. Don't ignore document guidelines, for example, size and format. Don't forget to press submit. And don't hesitate to contact us for support. So just to reiterate, do start your application well in advance of the closing date. Do read the guidelines thoroughly, including the technical information. Do save your application as draft until you are sure you have everything you need. Do double check you have everything you need. Do submit your application before the closing date and do contact us for support if you require it. There are a number of avenues for support um, which will support you in, in making your application. So the first port of call is the online services um, FAQ, which is available on the Arts Council website. There are lots of questions, commonly asked questions answered here. Um, if they are not, you can contact our ICT team through online services at artscouncil.ie. If it's a query on the award itself, contact a member of the arts participation team. Our details will be in a slide later. And they are also available on the Arts Council website under the contact us staff and advisor lists. You can contact the access officer if you have a disability access requirement in making your application. And also you can watch our video guide on how to make an application on YouTube. Other funding opportunities. The arts participation team offer a number of other funding opportunities for individuals. These are all available um, on our website. So don't hesitate to, come to, to log on to the website and have a look through. There are all the schemes offered through 2024 will be there for other art forms as well. So we have the Agility Award, closing date 25th of April, the Arts Participation Project Award for 2025, 2025 round one, closing date 25th of July, Arts Grant Funding 2025, closing date is 12th of March, Artist in the Community Scheme, closing date 25th of March and 30th of September, Arts and Disability Connect Scheme, closing date 7th of May and 8th of October. And these last two schemes are indicative dates and you should contact ADI and create as relative to each scheme to confirm these dates. The Arts Participation Team will run other clinics. We hope to have one with ADI and CREATE in February 2024. We, there are a number of Meet the Arts Council at various dates around the country, and we will hope to run a project award clinic, a date to be confirmed on this. All award opportunities are available on the Arts Council website. Please go there to see further details. And if you have any questions or queries, please do not contact, do not, don't hesitate to contact a member of the arts participation team. Details here. Thank you very much for taking your time to go through this information session. And again, please contact us if you have any more queries.